Hi, and welcome to the Glide Around the Screen Challenge. In this challenge, your goal is to get the cat to glide around the screen like this. If you think you can do this challenge already, feel free to jump into Scratch and give it a go. But if you get stuck, come back to this video and check out the hints. So I'm going to make a new project like normal. And the first hint is you are going to need the glide block. If you haven't used the glide block before or don't understand it, make sure you click and watch the challenge before this that gives you an understanding of the glide block and the coordinate grid. So initially, I'd recommend when you do this challenge, don't worry about the cat turning. Just get the cat to glide around the screen like this. And to do that, it has to glide to all four corners. So let's move the cat to the first corner we want it to glide to. It'll update the X and Y there automatically. And I'm going to drag that glide block there. If I click on it, nothing happens because it's already there. Now, the next corner I want it to go to is this bottom right. All right, I drag this glide block in here. If I click on this first block, it goes to the bottom left corner. I click on this block, it goes to the bottom right corner. But I want to do these in order. And the way you do this is you snap blocks together. And the way Scratch works, and in fact, almost all coding languages work, is the order things are done is from top to bottom. And in general, a computer can only do one thing at a time. So if I click on this block, together, it will glide to the bottom left, then right. Now it goes up slightly, and that's because the Y changes, so I'm going to fix that. Oops. Was it? All right. Then I want to go to this third corner. I'm going to, where do I snap that? On the bottom there. So now it goes bottom, bottom, top. Let's see that again. Bottom left, bottom right, top right. Now, a really important point here is you notice I didn't put all the blocks together and then test it. I put one or two blocks and test it as I went. It's really important when you're coding to test as you go. Make sure what you think is supposed to happen actually happens. And if it doesn't, figure out why. All right, I'm not going to give you any more hints to finishing this up because you can probably finish it yourself. But I do want to add one thing here. You'll notice my original challenge, the cat made it look like the legs were always on the wall. So that means after I glided to the bottom right corner, I had to turn like this to make the cat look like it's gliding on the wall up. So there are multiple ways of doing this, and I'm going to set my direction back to 90. Here, you can also type it. But there are multiple ways to do this. But first, I have to figure out where to put this code in. So this first block I know makes it go to the bottom left corner. This second block makes it go to the bottom right corner. And I can drag these apart just to confirm this and click on them individually. This is a trick. So Bottom left, I was right. Bottom right. So after that, I want to turn. I'm going to use a turn block. And in this case, 90 degrees which is what you want. And I'm going to click this back together. So now it turns. Now you can finish this up by yourself. You just have to figure out where to put the glide blocks and where to put the turn blocks. I suggest you do all the glides first, make sure that works, and then add in the turn blocks. All right, good luck and start scratching. 